Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. I'd like to show you a kit here at Apogee Rockets called the Slow Mo. Now this kit we designed specifically for people that like slow, realistic, or slow and majestic rocket launches. You know, you've been watching those Saturn V videos and the rocket just kind of lumbers into the air. Well, that's where this rocket comes in. It takes off a little bit slower than a typical model rocket. Um, as you can see, it's a nice size rocket. It's based on a, a 29 millimeter tube. It has an 18 millimeter engine mount, so it will take B, C, and the 18 millimeter composite D engines. Um, I'll go over some of the features of the kit. Uh, first, it has a payload bay, so you can put an altimeter in it um, or whatever payload you want to put in here. Um, it's already pre-drilled uh, by our laser cutter uh, for the altimeter holes, the vent holes that allow the altimeter to work. It's got some really cool graphics and you can see there's this little snail here and that's the little logo of the slow-mo rocket. Um, it's got an engine baffle in the middle. Now an engine baffle will allow you to use less wadding. I still recommend you use wadding in this rocket kit. Um, it has a, a plastic parachute and um, some of the cool features that make it go slow are here at the back end. Uh, first, you'll notice it's got a lot of fins, um, and the fins have holes in them, and this creates drag, a lot of drag, so it's going to really slow the rocket down, not allowing it to go very fast. The fins are also made out of plywood. Now, plywood is heavier than balsa wood, so this rocket weighs a little bit more, and that's also going to hold it down to the ground a little bit more. Uh, you can see these cutouts and these strakes right here. Again, this is to add a lot more drag to the rocket. Uh, to keep the rocket going stable, though, because it's taking off so slow, um, there's a couple of features in it. First, um, these plates here on the, out, on, the, on the tips of the fins are actually canted outward a little bit. Um, and it, it creates a little bit of cone stability. Now, cone stability is used in flying saucer-type rockets to make them fly straight. Um, the fins, you probably can't see this, but they're actually canted at two degrees. So that means they're not straight along the tube, but they're twisted. And that's what that does is it causes the rocket to spin as it goes up. Now spinning the rocket is kind of like rifling a bullet. And that spinning action keeps it going straight. And that's why these are, are canted like that. And they're also, there's a lot of fin area here too. And again, that's to move the center pressure back to help the rocket go straight. So, uh, I think you're going to like the slow-mo. It's, it's a nice little rocket. Um, it's a skill level 3, so it's easy to build. It has laser-cut fins, laser-cut tubes, so it goes together really fast. Um, you can paint it up any color you want. This is uh, the, the paint scheme that we created for it. Uh, you'll find it at Apogee Rockets at www.apogeerockets.com.